So we have a little leaking pipe here. This is kind of getting gross and rusty a little bit because the water, every time you turn on the disposal, will leak a little bit. It's only when you turn the disposal on, though, that it leaks. So I took this off. I think I'm just going to try putting more Teflon tape here and, uh, you know, position this pipe where it needs to be and then tighten it on really good and see if that stops the leak. We'll have to test it out and see if it works. Does the wood in your cabinet under your sink look gross? Has it been, has it had a leak and gotten kind of buckled and warped and impossible to clean. You can use liners and things, but I think a good way to seal these up and make them look nicer is to just get some inexpensive vinyl self-adhesive tiles that you can put down and it adhere to that surface. To make it more water resistant and also make it look nicer because it's just impossible to clean up and make it look good because the, the wood is kind of, the, the particle board is kind of warping and buckling and it's had minor leaks over the years and we've solved solving the leak but uh, we got to also address this, the, how, how bad this looks so a little vinyl tile is a great way to fix this. See I made cutouts there for the pipes, you just have to measure and cut with scissors or um, another tool that works really well to cut. These uh, vinyl tiles or the good old tin snips work really well to cut a lot of thick materials. So I use the tin snips to cut out those little areas for the pipes there. And just, you know, this little, little corner right here. So I kind of wanted to bring it up all the way here so we just have a nice, clean, smooth clip right there. Um, I guess another option is you could cut it to the line where this wood is. That's another possibility too. Maybe I'll do that later on. I like having the clean factory edge all the way to the edge of that. So anyway, use the uh, the tin snips to make cuts and see a huge difference. It'll look a lot nicer having that covered with this vinyl tile. Used a nice long straight edge with a Sharpie to make a little line there so I can make my cut here. And I'm gonna put the cut edge, I'm gonna put the edge that I cut against there and then I'm gonna put the factory edge against this so it gets a better seal against water. Make it as nice and smooth a cut as you possibly can. So now that I cut it along that edge to make so it would fit, I'm just checking to make sure it's going to go down all the way. And I just got to cut a little corner off right here to make it fit around that. So almost there. So I got that. Just gonna make a little cut there. And I'll cut that other side off. quite going down all the way so I just need to uh, cut that a little bit more right there. Okay so we're gonna see how this uh, tile, sticky vinyl tile is holding up under the sink. It's been here for several months now. We did fix the, we got a new disposal so that's not leaking anymore so that's solved most of the problem now that we have a brand new disposal that's not leaking. Uh, the new attachment here yeah, so anyway, the leak is gone, but I just want to see how the vinyl tile is holding up. We've got a bunch of stuff here. I'll move out of the way, and we'll see how it's holding up. You can kind of see how things got stained before. We had different kinds of soaps and oils and things down there, products that may have spilled and leaked and caused it to get stained in addition to the water that was staining. You know, this kind of soap would sometimes spill down there, so it's another good reason to have the vinyl tiles down there as opposed to the wood because it's just more resistant to the stains. You can clean them up easier, wipe it off easier, and it's more more resistant to uh, liquids and stains of, from various products that you keep underneath your sink. I got this little mat here down. I'm just going to look underneath, and actually it's looking very nice. Looks looks like it's brand new. I think this little mat's probably helped because that, you know, takes some of the stuff, but... Still, it's been it's looking really nice. So that way, later when we go to sell the home or rent it or whatever we do with our house, it's still going to look nice and clean, um, and not have that nasty looking wood that was underneath there. So that tile is holding up really well and looking really good. Still got some nice clean cut edges, and I think that was, that was a worthwhile project to do to make that look better.